Last time on the channel, I made the incredibly difficult decision to split up with my partner of three years, Alyssa. It was one of the hardest things I've done to leave behind the person I love and the bus we lived so many adventures in together. But in order to grow into the person I want to be, I knew I would have to do it alone and have complete ownership of that journey. So, after an incredible final adventure to the famous Wave in Arizona, we made the split just before Thanksgiving. I headed north towards Capitol Reef National Park, embarking on my dream of a solo search for inner peace. I decided to take the long way to Capitol Reef on scenic Route 12 in Utah, and extended the drive even more by taking Hell's Backbone Road between Escalante and Boulder, a 38-mile winding gravel road with sheer drop-offs in some spots. With a name like Hell's Backbone, I couldn't resist, and I was definitely not disappointed. After a long day of meandering, I found camp just outside the National Park. Good morning, YouTube. It is Thanksgiving Day. Uh, the past couple days have been pretty crazy uh, with the splits. My first time on my own in the van, besides when I went and picked it up. But... Uh, today I'm going to spend Thanksgiving at Capitol Reef National Park. Uh, I was told it's actually kind of like a hidden gem in Utah because it's a little bit out of the way. The other parks in Utah are much more popular like Bryce Canyon and Zion. Um, but Capitol Reef, I'm finally getting to it and I'm hoping that it's going to be very low traffic today since it's Thanksgiving. Um, but yeah, let's see what we find today. I started off the day on the Hickman Bridge Trail. I only wanted to spend one day in Capitol Reef since the weather was getting cold in the area and I wanted to avoid freezing in the van overnight. So I quickly googled what highlights I should hit and Hickman Bridge, Navajo Knobs, and Cassidy Arch all seemed to be pretty popular. The visitor center was closed for the holiday so I couldn't go there and ask if doing all three hikes in a day would be feasible, let alone enjoyable, but I figured I'd give it a shot and find out. Hickman Bridge was a great warm-up hike to wake my body up. I went back to the trail junction and started off to Navajo Knox, one of the park's strenuous hikes as they call it, and what better place to reflect and give thanks than at a landmark of Native American namesake. I was the first one on that trail that morning, which I felt thankful for. Spending a holiday alone was completely a new experience for me. The thought of it sounds depressing, but I found it to be one of the most fulfilling Thanksgivings yet. Instead of connecting with family, this year I was accompanied by canyons. Although I miss my family, it was somewhat of a relief to not have to try and remember how to navigate social dynamics with cousins and cousins of cousins, which I usually resolved by keeping to myself anyway. And instead of being distracted with reacquainting, or avoiding reacquainting, 
I simply had the space to think about what I was thankful for. That was easy because it was practically hitting me in the face. I was thankful for nature. Open, free, unobstructed nature. I was thankful for my body that could take me on a 14 mile day of hiking and 3200 feet of up and down. I was thankful for the opportunity to be with myself, to smile with myself, to breathe fresh air, to be silent and still, and to be in such a beautiful place. Whenever I hike alone, there's always an urge to want to share it. I have to remind myself to relish in these special moments that are just for me. Alright guys, I made it back to the van. <laughs> I was hoping that because it's Thanksgiving that it would be less crowded in the National Park. I thought, you know, like maybe people would be spending time with their family. I mean, I know it's a different Thanksgiving, but I thought people would be home eating, but no. It, the National Park is packed. It's crazy. It seems like uh, that's kind of the thing to do this year is go on a family hike instead. Which I understand, but selfishly I wish it wasn't that way but anyway the hike was beautiful I didn't have many people up there for some reason in national parks people don't like to get up early if you if you just show up at the trailhead at 8 <laughs> you shouldn't be good you won't you won't see like more than a few people <laughs> but when I got to the bottom it's just like a swarm it's crazy Anyways, after I ate lunch and was done being sour about my stolen solitude, which I really should have seen coming, I drove over to the Grand Wash Trailhead to access the Cassidy Arch Trail. The trail leads to an arch named after Butch Cassidy because it's thought to be one of his old hideouts. The thought of the Wild West Robin Hood and his crew of outlaws taking cover on the ground that I was walking on really got my imagination going. But an even more entertaining thought to me was how angry Butch must be that all these tourists have ruined his spot. It must have been quite the experience to be in the place when it was secluded enough to be a hideout. Now it's a photo op for tourists, which is sad and funny, and here I am, one of those tourists. So I was able to get the three hikes that I wanted to done without much struggle. I got to reflect a lot and I got to remember the paradoxical feeling of being in a national park, whose landscapes inspire so much wonder but also feel like an abomination to those landscapes they swear to protect for bringing so many people waste and wear to the land. I'm always happy to see these places but it also feels a little bit dirty doing it. Maybe I'm overly sensitive, but I want to respect these places and not see them fade away. I left the park and drove towards Colorado for the evening and looked for a convenience store to indulge myself in Thanksgiving spirit. But the couple that I drove by were closed, of course. I nearly drove on, but out of the corner of my eye a beacon of light shone from the inside of a rock. It was a convenience store, inside of a hollowed rock, the only place open for a hundred miles in each direction. And I got Twizzlers that night. <laughs> 